We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Cincinnati Reds. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Now the payoff pitch home. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Batting third. The right fielder, number three. Right. Harper. At the plate now, Bryce Harper swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So a man at third here with two gone. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Here's the one-two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Settling in now, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Drives it out to deep right center field. Harper giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Bases are empty, one man out. Liner in there for a base hit. At the plate, Joey Votto. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Ready now for Cincinnati. Eugenio Suarez. His history with Jake Arrieta. He's four for 13. He also has one home run. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is foul right side. Fouled off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Winker on second. Suarez at first, two out in the inning. The ball and two strikes. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. From the stretch, the one-two. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning.
So next to the plate for the Phils, Didi Gregorius, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. To two and two now. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count your favorite. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And another foul ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in now for Philadelphia, JT Realmuto, a winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for NL Catchers. And that misses two and one. No score here as we play inning number two. And he lays off the circle change here as he moves into the driver's seat three and one. Nick Williams is on deck. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. High in the air out to center field. Winker is there. Two gone. Stepping up now, Nick Williams. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Here, but that one's wide for ball three. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. Grounded up the first baseline. And this will get past Votto down the line. A fair ball. Into the box. Scott Kingley. Hit back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Batting up. The pitcher, number 49. Jake. To the plate now. Jake Arietta. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And he fouls this one off. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through into left to base hit. The throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The battle, number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. In now, Gene Segura. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. half of the second set to go so digging in now Aristides Aquino he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest and he lays off for a ball two and one seared down the first baseline he lays out for it but he can't pull it in and now it'll kick around in the corner and he'll pull in the second here with nobody out into the box now Freddie Galvis all over that one but a little out in front foul ball the 2 2 gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout 
So stepping in, Tucker Barnhart, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. So runners at first and second here with one away. And digging in to hit next, it'll be the pitcher, Luis Castillo. The 1-1. One -one. Now a bunt attempt here. One there. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Nick Castellanos now, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Sinker is right there for a called strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not. Hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Count even at two and two. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Digging in to try it again. Bryce right Harper, 0 for 1 here in the early right. going. Harper, the 1 1. He is swung on and missed for strike number 2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches it. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Stepping into the box, Jesse Winker. He singled his last time up. The one-two. He is swung on and missed strike three. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Here's the 1 1 now to Votto. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. In the air, down the line in left. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. At the plate now, Eugenio Suarez can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. On deck, Mike Mustakis. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. At the plate, Mike Mustakis. 
line towards center field. Williams is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now Trying to pick things up where he left off. Aristides Aquino. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. New inning set to get underway. Now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Field it cleanly, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Ready for another chance? JT Wilmuto. He flew out in his last at bat. A ball hit hard to the left side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The center fielder, number five, Nick Williams. Standing in now, Nick Williams. This is on the ground over to first. Galvis. Relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. Into the box now, Freddie Galvis. He'll lead it off against Jake Arrieta. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Hoskins grabs it cleanly. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Out to short for Segura. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Luis Castillo. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Segura for one. Throw on to first won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So it's back to the top of the order now. And the right-handed hitting Nicolas Castellanos will bet next. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Into the box, Jesse Winker. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And in steps Scott Kingery. A base hit in his first trip. Here it is on three and one. On a gift of a swing there. It's three and two now. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Jake Arrieta. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Out 
inside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. He's in there. A called strike three. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Gene Segura. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. The one two. A swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in. And a high throw but he's able to keep anchored on the bag at first and that ends the inning. In is Joey Votto now. He doubled earlier in the game one for two to this point. Hit the target but this is low two and one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. The 3 1. This is pulled into right. Harper is there and he makes the catch for the out. So the base is empty here with one away. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league, Eugenio Suarez. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty V, a two-strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best in the league. We'll see if he tries that different approach this time. And maybe if he gets to two strikes, try to use the fastball a little bit more than that straight changeup. So now to the plate, Mike Mustakis. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Kingery's there. There's one on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. In now for the Reds, Aristides Aquino. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. A 1-1. There's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 ball game. On the ground to the left side. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Andrew McCutcheon, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And now pitch on the way. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. Now here it comes. And he lays off so it's full now three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Andrew McCutcheon is retired to kick off the inning. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. I tried to jerk that one, and it's two and two. Well, obviously, somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Popped him up. Galvis is calling for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And that is off the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. 
Wade Miley, the lefty standing six now foot back. even, takes over the, the pitching duties here. Petey. The goal. Stepping in now, Didi Gregorius. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Long throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Into the box now, JT Realmuto. Fly ball out toward left center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Adam Morgan enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 46, Adam. Ready once again, Freddie Galvis. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Morgan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Digging in once again, Tucker Barnhart. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Philip Urban will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Rysel Iglesias is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll. Now batting Nick Williams. A hit in two tries for him so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a group and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Striding in, Scott Kingery. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Fouled off. Here he comes again, 1-2. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4-2 our score. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Number 44 is there, and he has it for the out. Neil Walker will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Neil Walker. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The one two. Slap hard the opposite way. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Michael Lorenzen will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. At the plate, Gene Segura nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Fair.
Philly shortstop in front of the count three and one. Sent on the ground out to second. Mustakis is there, and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Jose Alvarez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. That last at bat, that showed me something. It's not that easy to hit a changeup over 400 plus feet out of the ballpark. So this guy gets some good extension, strong wrist, and this guy's got some terrific bat speed. To two balls and two strikes now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Full count, three and two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batter. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably get that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. And that'll get over the wall for a ground rule double. And that'll keep runners at second and third now with still nobody out. And now Joey Votto. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. And a swing and a miss. A big strike out here as it'll remain second and third, but with one away now. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Victor Arano was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Mike Mustakis will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. And look out as that gets him. So that's going to bring home a run. At the plate, Aristides Aquino. And with every base occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Ground ball foul down the left side. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Stepping into the box, Freddie Galvis. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Tucker Barnhart would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Big ball to second. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Barnhart will wait on it, and he puts it away for the first down. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Three and two. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. And it's fouled away. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that one is gone!
to the plate now, Reese Hoskins. And he misses two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. This one skied out toward right. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. Didi Gregorius. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. Popped him up. Lorenzen shading to his right, and the inning is over. David Robertson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30. Striding into the box, Tucker Barnhart. Over two of the walk for him so far. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Full count now, three and two. And the payoff pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Mark Payton will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Outside, two and one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Williams is underneath this one, and that's out number two. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. The 3-2 pitch down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Another payoff pitch. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Racing back the center fielder. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Standing in now, Jesse Winker. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense? A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Robert Stevenson comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning. Standing in, JT Real Muto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 1-1. Is in there for the second strike. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. The 2-2. Lifted in the air out to center field. Winker is right there, one down. Up next will be Nick Williams. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Left side. On to first, and now the Phillies are down to their final out. At the plate, Scott Kingery. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Philadelphia. Good night. 
It's always nice to take the open of a four-game set when you're at home. That sets the stage for the rest of the series, and it gives you a good springboard the rest of the way. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Cincinnati led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Luis Castillo takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.